This is an English listening practice. I will read the same sentence twice. Please fill the blank space with a word. Let's get started. Thirdly, those characters which are mainly distinctive of each breed, for instance the waddle and length of beak of the carrier, the shortness of that of the tumbler, and the number of tail feathers in the fantail, are in each breed eminently variable. And the explanation of this fact will be obvious when we come to treat of selection. Fourthly, pigeons have been watched, and tended with the utmost care, and loved by many people. They have been domesticated for thousands of years in several quarters of the world. The earliest known record of pigeons is in the 5th Egyptian dynasty, about 3000 BC, as was pointed out to me by Professor Lepsius. Thirdly, those characters which are mainly distinctive of each breed, for instance the waddle and length of beak of the carrier, the shortness of that of the tumbler, and the number of tail feathers in the fantail, are in each breed eminently variable. And the explanation of this fact will be obvious when we come to treat of selection. Fourthly, pigeons have been watched, and tended with the utmost care, and loved by many people. They have been domesticated for thousands of years in several quarters of the world. The earliest known record of pigeons is in the 5th Egyptian dynasty, about 3000 BC, as was pointed out to me by Professor Lepsius. In the time of the Romans, as we hear from Pliny, immense prices were given for pigeons. Nay, they are come to this pass, that they can reckon up their pedigree in race. Pigeons were much valued by Akbar Khan in India, about the year 1600. Never less than 20,000 pigeons were taken with the court. The monarchs of Iran and Turin sent him some very rare birds, and, continues the courtly historian, his majesty by crossing the breeds, which method was never practiced before, has improved them astonishingly. About this same period the Dutch were as eager about pigeons as were the old Romans. In the time of the Romans, as we hear from Pliny, immense prices were given for pigeons. Nay, they are come to this pass, that they can reckon up their pedigree in race. Pigeons were much valued by Akbar Khan in India, about the year 1600. Never less than 20,000 pigeons were taken with the court. The monarchs of Iran and Turin sent him some very rare birds, and, continues the courtly historian, his majesty by crossing the breeds, which method was never practiced before, has improved them astonishingly. About this same period the Dutch were as eager about pigeons as were the old Romans. <laughs>